And now we're joined by a Republican National Committee men, newly elected, uh, Glenn McCall from York C County, the former uh, uh, York County uh, chairman there. Um, give us your thoughts, Glenn, on, on what kind of a convention it's been, especially uh, Sarah Palin's speech last night. Right. Well, you know, I think when we started the convention, it was the right focus. You know, really thinking about those that are on the Gulf Coast, that are in harm's way, coming to the, on Monday night and doing strictly business, because what we had to do is really minute that the changes we made to the schedule compared to the lives that were disrupted by Hurricane Gustav. So uh, I think that was great. And then Tuesday night was great. Fred Thompson gave a great speech. Uh, he really uh, laid it on and never seen that excitement from it, but uh, it really fired up the convention. And I, and I think that's what really propelled and, and the energy and excitement uh, there at the convention arena at the Excel Center. Uh, that's how it really got initiated. And last night was just tremendous. Uh, from uh, the former uh, presidential candidates that ran, uh, Mick Romney, Mike Huckabee, uh, they all did wonderful. And uh, Rudy Giuliani, his, his keynote uh, was just a great setup for Sarah Palin. And she hit it out of the park. She addressed those issues in a very, very nice way, uh, factual about uh, the opponents, and also the value and the things that her strength and asset that she'll bring to the camp campaign uh, for her and uh, Senator McCain. So looking forward to it, looking forward to the night, uh, uh, Senator McCain and his speech, and then leaving here and just going back and, and getting into the fight, and taking that energy back to uh, your county. Very good. Um, we heard this morning from Michael Steele, right. who uh, was uh, Lieutenant Governor of Maryland ran for Senate, lost. Um, one of the things that, that he went through was really getting attacked by the liberal media right. in much the same way that Sarah Palin has been attacked this week, in much the same way that uh, bloggers like Michelle Malkin and, and right. folks like uh, even our own Karen Floyd have been attacked. What, uh, what do you attribute some of this to and, and how, uh, how do you think that's going to play out with the American people? Well, I, I, you know, and I think like Michael Steele, and I've experienced it myself, and like you said, all of those that are not, uh, you know, especially people of color that uh, assimilate to uh, the Republican Party and take that on and stand strong for those values, uh, we're ostracized and criticized, similar to Clarence Thomas, uh, for example, Condoleezza Wright. And uh, it's because even though uh, 90 plus percent of for example, African American vote for the Democratic Party. We don't all think alike. And uh, we're standing up for our thoughts and really assessing both parties and what fit best, best to our, our ideology. So as a result, uh, we get criticized for that. Even here, I, I've talked to people pat in passing and they just assume that I was a Democrat and uh, uh, people in the local uh, area uh, around the arena. Uh, so, uh, you know, that happened, but that's okay. It gives us an opportunity to express why we're conservative, why we're Republican, and why we gravitate to the party. There's also been a lot of uh, print uh, this week on the number of, uh, for example, African American delegates that's here compared to the 2004 New York, where we had more. And I think a lot of that, is, that has to do with Barack Obama being the head, the historical value. But for me, myself, and others that are here, African American, we will not compromise our values, our ideology, just to vote uh, for racial identity. So, uh, you know, it's given us a door to talk about it. We've, we've asked this question of pretty much everybody, but you just really led into it. Talk okay. about those conservative values and, and what those values mean to you. What, what, how do you def define yourself as a conservative? Yeah, and I define myself as a conservative. Mine is very basic, okay. and, and it's not difficult. Uh, I'm a Christian, and every decision I make, especially as it relates to politics and politicians, is what do they, what are they saying? You know, how does it align with the foundation? I think you always have to have a foundation to any thought process, anything you engage yourself in, there's some things that you do not compromise. And that's 
uh, uh, the sanctity of life that's traditional marriage for me. And I think once I get that foundation in order, I stand by those values, won't compromise those values, then all the other things, you know, we can, we can negotiate and we can talk about and look at how we feel and ideology on, on, uh, if you, on the economy and on uh, health care. But I think it's the foundation and the Republican Party has that foundation for me. Also, uh, being coming from a single parent home, working, I believe in hard work, not taking one's wealth and redistributing it. I don't think that's the government place. I believe in, in good schools. We stand for those things, wanting everyone to have a great education, not protecting a system, but protecting the kids and the family and looking at them. And I party, I think we do that really well. Thank you very much, Glenn McCall, for joining us. Uh, enjoy the last day of the convention. It's been a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.